Welcome to the enchanting underwater world of Coral Haven, where the annual Halloween festival is about to begin. The vibrant colors of the coral structures shimmer under the soft glow of bioluminescent creatures, creating a magical atmosphere. The festival grounds are bustling with excitement as children laugh and play, their voices echoing through the water. The townsfolk play soft melodies on seaweed flutes, adding to the enchanting ambience. Each booth is adorned with glowing jellyfish and intricate carvings of sea creatures, captivating the hearts of all who attend. Join us as we dive into this mesmerizing world and explore the adventures that await in Chapter 1 of our story. Lila, a 12-year-old girl with long, flowing hair that resembles the waves of the ocean, stands at the edge of the bustling festival grounds. Her bright blue eyes are wide with wonder as she takes in the vibrant scene before her. The laughter of children echoes through the water, mingling with the soft melodies of seaweed flutes played by the townsfolk. The enchanting atmosphere makes Lila's heart race with anticipation. Yet, amidst the joy, a sense of unease lingers in the currents. Finn, Lila's best friend, hovers nearby, his short, tousled hair swaying gently as he shifts from one foot to the other. Finn's green eyes, usually bright with curiosity, are clouded with anxiety. The festival, while a celebration, also marks the time when the townsfolk honored the spirits of the ocean, spirits that Finn has always feared. Memories of a near-drowning incident haunt him, and the thought of confronting the unknown sends shivers down his spine. Coral, with her vibrant red hair flowing like seaweed, darts between the booths, her mischievous grin challenging the traditional views of the festival. Come on, Lila. We should explore the old shipwrecks, she urges, her turquoise eyes sparkling with rebellion. Lila feels a tug of excitement at Coral's suggestion, but Finn's worried expression holds her back. The shipwrecks are rumored to be haunted, remnants of lost sailors who never return to the surface. As the children debate their next move, the atmosphere thickens with tension. Lila's curiosity about the ocean's mysteries grows stronger, while Finn's anxiety about the unknown surfaces like a dark shadow. The whispers of the spirit seem to echo around them, hinting at the secrets hidden within the depths. Coral's rebellious spirit clashes with Finn's cautious nature, setting the stage for a conflict that will challenge their friendship. Just then, a flicker of light catches Lila's attention. A hidden passageway, partially obscured by swaying kelp, beckons them closer. The thrill of discovery ignites a spark within Lila, and she exchanges a glance with Coral, who nods eagerly. Finn hesitates, his heart racing, but the allure of the unknown is too strong to resist. Together, they approach the passageway, their hearts pounding in unison, ready to uncover the town's forgotten history. The festival's laughter fades into the background as they prepare to dive into the mysteries that await them. The chapter closes with the children standing at the threshold of adventure, the promise of discovery hanging in the water like a tantalizing secret.